The first priest of St. Joseph's Church in Brewer, Father Thomas Moriarty, served the community from the mid-1920s until his death in 1969. Soon after, people began hearing footsteps in the priest's empty bedroom in the rectory. The first of many strange events, these inexplicable sounds mark the beginning of a ghost story that has spanned decades and continues to this day. So we, we just think he's a pleasant ghost if there is such a thing, a spirit that's around that's kind of protecting us, you know. Because we will joke, oh, that's Father Moriarty. Father Moriarty did this or did that. All his sightings were at the house across the street that had been the rectory. Every once in a while, I'll talk to some of the residents and ask them, and they said, no, everybody asks us that, you know, and, and they haven't. So we've decided he's moved back over here. There was a meeting here that night after hours, and I had inadvertently just left a roll of my paper towels on the counter. Um, came back the next day and they were gone. Nowhere to be found in the place. I looked high and low all through here for that roll of paper towels, because it was my stuff for the bake shop. So I asked Mary Ann, she had come in, and I said, oh, I said, you didn't happen to take the roll of paper towels on the counter, did you? And she says, no. She says, I remember seeing them. She says, well, that's got to be Father Moriarty's ghost then. My husband is, ex he's, he's convinced that Father Moriarty is here because he's had a few experiences. He was in that back room there, which is our little office, and he was at the computer. And, you know, you get used to the regular sounds in a building. We have the traffic on the street, motorcycles, you get used to if someone's downstairs, you know, you, you, you know how it is, it, it's familiar, whatever sounds there are around. And he was in the building by himself, and he heard footsteps on the carpet. So you know it was kind of squeaky, muffled, and he knew it wasn't the regular sounds that you hear when somebody's walking around. And he came out of the office and nobody's here. So we went back in the office and he sat back down. And he heard the walking on the carpet again. And he really, this time he tuned into it to analyze. No, it's not coming from outside. No, it's not downstairs. And he came out and there was nobody here. Being the organist, you, you can let your mind go crazy, you know, when you hear things. But, and there have been a couple times when I'm here after dark, you know, what is it about the dark that makes us more suspicious? And I, a couple times I've heard, like, that's not a normal sound. And I decide, I'm done, and i out of here. <laughs> I shouldn't be like that, you know. But it just, you know, you kind of think, and you let your mind do silly things, and it could be.